We are back. Oh, hi. Shut in is causing many people to get back to their roots. Hair color roots, that is. Here to show us how to expertly touch up your roots at home is celebrity hair colorist, Ryan Trigstad. Ryan, your hair looks... Hey, hey there's Mark. You guys look great. Hey, yeah. hey good this morning. Is Mark. Hey, good morning. Hello, everyone. You know what's how so funny? Uh, Ryan, I'm looking at your, uh, your husband, Mark, there with his gorgeous hair. I don't think it's fair that you... The two colorists should be in uh, lockdown together. I don't think it's fair at all. <laughs> We've heard that a couple times. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I know. So, so, Lucky boy. We, uh, you know, one of my goals for 2020 was to learn how to do this at home. So this is, uh, I guess, in a way, serendipitous that we're all together. <laughs> what do we need yeah, to do you... and know? how do we start to color our own hair? Where do we begin? So first you have to pick the, pick the color. You know, there's a lot of box brands that normally your colors don't advise you to use. Um, but in these times we, you know, we have to do what we have to do. Um, so a lot of times people are using, we've noticed with our clients are using box color. Um, two of our favorite brands are um, Clairol Root Touch Up. I don't know if you can see mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Okay. That's the one that's pretty, pretty easy to find. Um, beautiful shades, you know, you can match your hair color. And then we also love this um, Revlon Root Erase. Nice thing about this I is see. you get a lot of use out of it. Um, I have a question because you always put yeah. something around my, you always put something around color my hair. It, yeah. It's like an oil or something. What is that? It's, it's like a barrier cream to protect yeah. so, my, so I don't dye my skin. Exactly. Yeah. Especially when you're covering grays, the formulation is pretty strong. So um, yeah, you want to use a barrier cream, which most people at home have Vaseline, right? Or uh, worst comes to worst, you can always use a uh, like a lip balm, which chapstick. we have our chapstick. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. smart. Both yeah. will cause a barrier, which is great. And a lot of times, you know, you're trying to cover gray that's right on the hairline. So you want to be careful when you put that barrier cream on not to get it on any of those little grays, which you can see I have. Yeah. Um, so you just want to get it on the skin. And a lot of times you'll go right along the skin and, um, yeah, as Mark's just showing, and even the tops of the ears, you know, you can get a lot of hair yeah. color, especially if you're a brunette. Yeah. Um, and you can see he has his gloves on. I would say start with the gloves, you know, especially when you're mixing, you're going to, it gets everywhere, you know. So gloves and then a shirt that you can take off. Um, you don't want one that you can have to pull over your head. So you can see Mark has a butt down. Um, or a robe, you know, if you're at home, don't use your favorite robe, but um, anything that you can just take off and get in the shower. So, but Ryan, um, now, what about uh, what about the technique? What is the the best technique? I, I feel like this would be risky for me to try myself, but if you were to advise, what would be the best technique? Yeah, it's tricky because a lot of people at home, you know, especially now where we're getting the roots coming in, as, as Kelly has shown um, on your guys' feed. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so a lot of times you're you just mean? trying to get rid of that. What do you mean? I know. I won't tell. You won't tell. Um, <laughs> um, so a lot of times we're just trying to get rid of those grays, right? Um, and these box colors are really only formulated for that. They're not formulated for like you can see Mark has highlights. Um, so they're not formulated for the mid and the ends. So really, you just want to put it on your roots. And you can see, I we recommend people to start towards the back of the head. And you can see that Mark found his part and he's applying like a generous amount of product. Do you see that? Yep, because I'm watching the whole thing. Yeah, and grays, you know, are quite resistant, right? So they need a lot of product to be able to cover it. And, How long um, does that stay in and do you put a hair dryer to it? I see those bonnets that, you know, they heat your hair. You're supposed to tell me, give me more detail. Yeah, well, normally each box is kind of, we noticed it was either like five minutes to 20 minutes. Um, uh -huh. five minutes would be maybe for less people, you know, 40% and less of gray. Um, but what you can do is once you have it on, you can always say the time is up, your timer is up, which you, you'll have a timer on your phone. Everyone has an iPhone. Um, so you set your timer and once that timer's up, um, you can go in and he could make sure those grays are covered by just taking the end of this and he could scrape uh -huh. it right at the root. And then you could see if you got any the right coverage, right? If you see any sparkly grays, maybe go five more minutes. Cause you don't want to get in the shower and have, 
you know, get out of the shower and realize you got barely any coverage, right? So Ryan and Mark, I know that you're opening the Mark Ryan Salon in New York City. Obviously, right now it's a terrible, yeah. it's a t terrible for um, all of us that it we is. can't get yeah. to your salon. But how many um, bad dye jobs do you think you're going to have to correct? Because I refuse. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I won't do it. I'm just going to spray my roots and hope for the spraying. best. Yeah, um, we're probably going to have. You know, quite a hopefully, few. Hopefully, a few less after today. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, less <laughs> after today. And, um, you know, and it just makes people feel good, right? Like, people, yeah. we did a, a Skype call yesterday with one of Mark's clients, and we actually were teaching her how to put her color on, same as this. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, there were a lot of things she was like, oh, like aha moments of. Yeah. Two, yeah. two really big things that I observed was that in watching my client apply this color, it was really difficult for her to part her hair. So we had her, before she started, we asked her to practice holding the brush towards the back, just like I'm doing now, and practicing really clean partings to the front hairline. Yeah, starting from, That's instead right. of going front to back, going back to you front. You know, you've got, a, you've got a lot of great advice. Will you do this, and will you, like, give some extra tips on our website? Because we've got okay. a, we've got, okay, perfect. Yeah, let's do that. Because yeah. I think All that's right. what people need to say. Hey, you guys Thank take you so care, much. okay? Be well, stay Thanks. safe. Go to our website for more. We'll be right back with the inbox. Love you both. <laughs>